Aquarius. Ooh, for some of you, travel is showing up um, or maybe a residential move. Okay, for some of you, some kind of travel may strike some kind of um, wake-up call or an epiphany. I don't mean you're going to have trouble on it. But it could like strike something. Just say you, you go on vacation quickly out of town somewhere and it's a new town or something and you may get inspired somehow or you want to move there. So there is something like that showing up. There is something that may trigger some kind of feeling with some kind of travel. Okay, so I do see that. For some of you, this is travel and work. For others of you, I do feel that a situation that's been going on with work or with health, it works both ways because it could have been stress, is going to start clearing up, meaning it's like the worries you had, a stressful time, you're moving along and you do have help around you. For some of you, you're not traveling alone. You've got somebody who is there with you. So I do see that energy as well. Now, I do see this is a week also where I would watch your emotional reactions. Because I do see here that others may feel that you react. This is like emotional immaturity. It comes from either some kind of insecurity, maybe you're dealing with some kind of disappointments, and then you have these new ideas, but you, there's a sense of creative blocks, okay? So it could be you're holding yourself back, or it's not the timing now, you need to tweak something. So watch your reactions this week, and I also want to say, don't make any promises you can't keep, because then someone's going to come back and hold you to your word, okay? Um, for others of you, it could be dealing with... This is a child in your life or somebody who is younger and this person could have some kind of emotional hang-ups. Um, there's, it could be um, just trying to get through with this, uh, through this person. And they could be just some upset with a child or someone younger in your life. So I do feel that energy, okay? Um, again, the energy here is for love. Um, I'm also feeling if you're dating now, don't believe everything you hear. Um, you may be dealing with someone who has some issues too, so I do feel that energy. Now, there is a sense of trickery this week. If you're trying to trick someone or you're trying to pull the wool over someone's eyes, um, you're going to get caught is what I'm feeling here. It is a general reading. Maybe some of you won't. But this energy doesn't mean it's just it's you doing it. There is a sense of... <sighs> someone trying to fool you okay so not everything again it's like an entrapment in a way um so it's like someone's trying to get you to do or whatever you know it's, it's almost like a little bit of a manipulative type of energy so i do see that something just to be warned about uh for some of you could be dealing with authority this week or dealing with father a father figure all right so i do feel that energy as well this is a week to go by the rules and regulations um so everything is step by step um you can't fight the system that's one thing i'm seeing here that's for someone out there that needed to hear that um i do feel there could be a significant man this is a masculine figure this could be somebody who um will kind of uh, get you to see another perspective or could be helpful with work um this could be someone also helpful if you're like starting a online business something like that so that's looking good um, you're also going to be making some kind of maybe uh, business decisions, final decisions with something and you're going to be moving forward, but you're more grounded here. So you're thinking things through, which is good. Um, this is a good energy here with that as well. It's like doing things more your way and that's pretty good. So you could be the one, um, inspiring people at work or people think that you got it all, you got all your stuff together, like all your eggs in a basket. Um, I do see you've got some, uh, decisions to make. Okay, and you're not not sure which way to go, so you may be holding back. Um, I do see dealing with the past, okay? So this could be somebody from the past um, or a past situation that's going to um, show up uh, towards maybe the end of the week. Now, there could be a decision you have to make that's something very familiar that you had to make before that you've been putting off, so I do feel that energy as well. Uh, for some of you, you've got some great ideas, you're enthusiastic, you want to start something, and that is not a bad thing, but you, it's going to take time to build or it'll take some time, um, uh, yeah, it'll take some time to build. 
For some of you, you may be making some plans for travel. You have a lot of options around you too, so I do feel that energy. Um, I do feel that something is ending. Uh, maybe it's been a year or so. I see something like a year or so. And maybe you've been waiting to hear from someone. This could be a reconnection or a new idea how to approach the situation, okay? I do see waiting maybe a little bit longer for something to create itself or something that you've been working on. All right, so I do see that. This is a good week for if you're teaching and learning. So this is a great week with that too. Um, there is something that you kind of tie, you need to tie up a loose end before you can move forward. You could be making some travel plans, but you still have to kind of get some things in order before you do. Um, this is a week of, yeah, you're going to feel burnt maybe out towards the end of the week, but you're going to get a lot done. 